For millions of years, a crop rib corals were the dominant shallow water species in the Caribbean, providing vital habitat to reef ecosystems. There are three crop rib corals, staghorn, elkhorn, and their hybrid, which is not well studied. In the last 30 years, 97% of the crop rib populations have been lost to disease, physical disturbance, predation, and coral bleaching. This unprecedented decline has led to the addition of acropids to the threatened species list. Of these remaining populations, some are recovering while others are struggling to survive. We've been studying the reproduction of this acropid population since 2005. What we've noticed is that this population is stable and perhaps even increasing, but we don't have any quantified data for this. This has prompted us to initiate a demographic project called CBAD, which stands for Caribou Acroporid Demographics. CBAD investigates this acroporid population to see if it's increasing, stable, or decreasing. Just feet off the shoreline, the study site at Caribou Key is ideal due to its location and the presence of all three acroporid species. This study is unique because it is the only project that examines all three species of acropora and is the only one in the Western Caribbean. This study has five objectives. One, tag, measure, and genotype all species of acropora. Two, map all acroporids using GIS. Three, monitor colonies every four months for health and growth. Four, determine if specific genotypes are more susceptible to disease, predation, and bleaching. Five, make predictions about the future of this population using population models. The data gathered for this proper demographic project will give us information on the genotypes and which genotypes are more susceptible to disease. It will give us information about the clonal structure of the population, how many genotypes are there, and what is the genotypic diversity. We have a few initial findings. In the first year of our study, we created a baseline of data just three months prior to a major disease and bleaching event where we saw substantial mortality and the loss of entire genotypes. We are now following the recovery of the colonies that were resistant to this event. We have discovered that the elkhorn coral has a higher genotypic diversity than elsewhere in the Caribbean. This indicates that sexual reproduction is occurring in the species, while the staghorn and the hybrid appear to be relying on asexual fragmentation for population growth. Lastly, we believe we've actually had at least three new sexual recruits. This is a major achievement because in recent decades, there has been complete failure of a proper recruitment Caribbean-wide. The CBED project is very important because it provides us with data for understanding the current state of acropids and also their future.